Then that's all for today, class. Please remember to write those exercises from page 7. It's important if you want to correct those grammar mistakes. Have a great day. Yes, Rodolfo? Do you have any questions about the exercises? Hello, teacher. Yeah, you said we need to do those exercises to correct grammar mistakes, right? Yes, and that's right. Because you made a lot of grammar mistakes in your last exam. Yeah, okay, but learning grammar is not necessary, teacher. Why do we have to do that? Learning grammar is not necessary? Why do you say that, Rodolfo? Because I watched a video on YouTube. It was a famous YouTuber. He said that. He said grammar is not important. He said the main purpose of English language is to communicate. The basic purpose of any language is communicating the message to another person or the receiver. For example, when you order a coffee in English, you just have to make the seller understand what you want. How you speak English doesn't matter to the person taking your order at the counter. Even the people living in English countries have different accents, pronunciation, formal and informal usage of words. That makes it different from the English used in other countries, for example, American and British English. Thus, grammar isn't that important while speaking. I don't need to practice grammar anymore. So, I'm not doing those exercises, teacher. I don't need to do that. Grammar is useless. I see. It's good you search information about learning English. Watching videos on YouTube helps a lot when you learn English, so that's great. Nevertheless, what you just said about grammar, mm, I don't agree with that, Rodolfo. Grammar is important, and I'll give you some reasons why you have to learn and practice your grammar. As the world becomes more digitally connected, good grammar is more important than ever. First, we need to understand something. What is good grammar? Proper grammar follows the accepted conventions of sentence structure, punctuation, and spelling. Grammar applies to both written and spoken language. You need to know that. Grammar exists to make communication easier. It's a way to standardize how we use the English language, which cuts down on communication errors, for grammar leads to confusion and misunderstandings. Everything is online these days, which means people are constantly reading. From email and social media to news articles and online learning, we are using written language more than ever. This means the chance for misunderstandings is even higher. Good grammar builds bridges. By making effective communication easier, thankfully, as the world becomes more connected through the Internet, 
we now have technology to help us avoid grammatical errors uh, sometimes. Well, the first reason why you should learn and practice grammar is that it demonstrates professionalism. Whether looking for a new job, marketing a product or a service, or writing how you speak and write, impacts how people perceive you. Having good grammar helps you come across as more intelligent, educated, and professional. Poor grammar can put off clients. Particularly when you have to write an important email, message, or those kind of things. A single mistake isn't a big deal, but many grammar errors suggest poor attention to detail. And maybe this is something you didn't know, but Elon Musk reportedly fired some of his employees for typos and grammar mistakes in important communications, and that's true. So, if you plan to lead others, good communication skills and good grammar are really important. Another reason is that it encourages better communication. Seriously. Sometimes it's acceptable to use colloquialisms and ignore grammar rules when writing to a family member sending a text or even some personal social media messages. However, recipients outside of your inner circle might not understand the intentions behind this type of writing. They might even find an email rife with errors offensive. It happened to me. The best way to ensure somebody understands your meaning is by following basic grammar rules. Another reason why you should practice grammar is that it improves your listening skills. When you watch a video or listen to a podcast, you recognize words and sentences. But those sentences, I mean, all sentences, have a grammar structure. You have to know it. So, if you know the grammar structure, you will be able to recognize more sentences properly. Learning grammar also ensures clear communication at all times. Grammar is the foundation of effective and clear communication. Good grammar indicates credibility. I'll tell you something that happened to me some days ago while I was checking my email. I got an email from an important company to sponsor the channel. It looked really well. But that email had some grammar mistakes, so I didn't replay the message. It could be a scam. There are many factors why you should practice grammar, but I will be honest with you. Learn and practice grammar is not easy. Too many rules to memorize, it's tiring. So, probably the question should be, what is the best way to learn grammar? Well, you know I have been teaching English for more than 15 years, right? I can tell you something. There's not just one way to learn grammar, seriously. 
I had thousands of students and not everyone learned grammar in the same way. Some of them like to sit and memorize the rules, then apply what they've learned through exercises. Others don't like memorizing or they just find it frustrating and very difficult. So they prefer to read and associate the sentences to know what is the correct way to build them. Some people like practicing grammar by watching videos on YouTube. There are many videos on YouTube about grammar. Conversation videos are a fun way to learn it. For example, here in the channel, you could see many videos about grammar topics. And you can also see the text, so you can practice reading and writing, if you prefer. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's important to learn grammar, but there are many ways to do it. Yes, teacher, now I understand. I will also practice my grammar, I promise. I don't want to make many grammar mistakes while speaking. That would look terrible. But you said there are many ways of learning grammar. Can you tell me more about that? Of course, but it will have to be in the next video, because now we don't have enough time. Obviously, only if our subscribers like that idea. If so, let us know by commenting on this video. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.